Hi all, Darren Hansborough from DA Components. Today I'm going to do a short video on the new high current controller available very soon, which will be on the website, so just keep an eye out. So the reason why we've gone down the route of making a new controller is because uh, window cleaners are uh, moving into soft washing, which they draw a lot more current and there's more amps drawn. And now the standard controllers are rated at 10 amps, and when you fit a new bigger water pump, which getting lean more liters per minute, and it draws a lot more amps, the controller will work. It might work for a day or two and so on, and it might not work straight away. So this is the reason why I stress using the correct controller for the correct water pump. So to turn this controller on, you just go to the on button, turn it on, hold it for one second, it comes on. And the potentiometer is actually at the side, so it turns the flow rate, the display up. And if you press the V, which is the battery display, it flags up battery and it tells you the battery status. To get it back on the floor, just press the F button and that sets your, your flow rate. We've kept the actual ethos of DA components. We've got the easy fitting lugs at the side so the customer doesn't have to take them apart on both sides. It comes with four cables, two with the battery, two with your water pump, and it actually comes with color instructions. So step-by-step -step guides, how to use it, stuff like that. Now with this controller, what we've gone down the route of is actually having a safety device on it. So if you're working away and the controller actually flags up battery, it'll flag up battery on the display. This is the reason because it's gone past 10.4 volts and it says battery stopped. Now that tells you obviously your batteries needs charging up. And this will save the controller, save your water pump, and save your battery in later use. Now, obviously, once I've just turned the power back up on the bench power supply, so you get back to normal. Now, say for argument's sake, you've actually got a job doing, and you've got like 20 minutes left on the job. There is a function you can turn that battery safety device off, but I wouldn't advise it to do it all the time. So all you need to do is the V button and the middle button, hold it together, it flags up the battery, Obviously it's on, so if you press the F, it turns it off. Now to save that, you press the V, and it's battery saved. So the device is switched off, the safety device switched off. So once you get that job done, make sure you put it back on by holding the buttons together. It comes up battery off, then you press the F button to turn it back on, you press the V, turns it back off. So now the battery safety device is fully in, in working order. Now, I do stress, make sure you fit the in inline fuse, because that's what it's all about. You always have to make sure you're fitting inline fuse, and make sure you use very good, clean, nice, dry connections, and any more information, please free to contact me, and uh, look forward to you. Thank you very much. Darren Hansbrough from DA Component.